Yo, what is going on, y'all? I'm Cavell Anderson, and we're back with another video. So in this one, it seems we have something pretty interesting. So another multimillionaire has come out, and it's been exposed that they're, they've scamming their fans. And this is actually Logan Paul's partner, who just recently got exposed for doing the same thing. So he's been in these scandals as far as his his scams for a while now. But KSI has just now got named in his own crypto scam and scandal. And it's crazy that these guys who can be this ex insanely successful and have all this money and it's only in the position that they're in because of their audience and their fan base and they still betray them and do things like this. It, it just, it blows my mind. But let's let's check out the scam that, that KSI has committed in the crypto space. And, and yeah, let's see what's going on. Be sure to drop that thumbs up, subscribe and turn notifications and let's get into it. KSI is one of the world's most popular YouTubers, but yesterday he accidentally exposed the pump and dump crypto scams that he promoted. They've been hidden for two years, but only came out when KSI logged back into his old Twitter account saying, does this still work? Now, if you didn't know, this is KSI's crypto account where he used to talk about crypto coins he liked, but he messed up because one investigator has been waiting for him to return to the scene of the crime. And that person, is not me it's zach xbt a crypto investigator on twitter who i'll link below because his work is incredible he's a friend of the show we've collaborated a lot I, I just encourage you to go follow him but i was shocked when he said this in before he starts sharing garbage again dumping your tokens on logan paul's lapdog is permitted and encouraged now many people including myself hadn't seen anything from ksi to this point that seemed shady but zach had been waiting for this moment he goes on Remember when KSI posted this? All of a sudden, my XCAD bag is looking juicy again. Hoddle Gang then proceeded to dump $850,000 worth of XCAD over the following days from his wallet address. Now, obviously, I was stunned by this, but looking at the date of when this all happened, I realized Zach has been holding onto this piece of evidence, waiting for KSI to come back to this account for years. He had this tweet in the drafts, and KSI logging back in activated the trap card. Zach also shared a picture as proof. Seri That's crazy. So he literally waited years. He's been waiting years to expose KSI. That's crazy. That's actually insane. That's, that's commitment to exposing him, I guess. Like, wow. These investigators really just be taking their time with it series of transactions from KSI's wallet were starting on March 27th when he sent that tweet. KSI started selling XCAD. The same day he tweeted he was part of the HODL gang, slang for someone who wouldn't sell this crypto coin, right? In fact, that wasn't the only time KSI has mentioned this holding stance publicly. I'm holding my bags. <laughs> I'm holding my Luna, my XCAD. <laughs> Videos like this are why people genuinely thought KSI was just buying and holding, but he wasn't. This time he sold. And he tweeted again on March 30th, 2022. Me looking at Zill and XCAD right now. And it might look like that means he's excited about this. But really, he was looking at the sell button because he continued to sell XCAD to his fans who thought he was part of the HODL gang once again. And this is what I mean by a pump and dump scam. He got his followers excited while selling his own crypto bag at the same time. In total, over $800,000 was sold by KSI over a few days and these two tweets, according to Zach XBT. Now, as a quick... And I know people do this because they don't think that they're going to get caught, but it's not worth it. Like, like, why would you... You can, you can spend years building a brand. You can spend years building an audience, getting a fan base, and all it takes is a few ill-timed, dumb mistakes to lose everything. So why put everything at risk just for a quick 850K when you can make that type of money just by doing a boxing match, like well, like challenge somebody to a boxing match, do something legitimate. Like what's the point in just trying to take the easy route and scam your fans as if you need more money? It's it's weird. And if you need more money, just make better decisions with the money that you have, invest better, do make wiser decisions. You don't have to go this route. It's like, that's the one thing I don't like about YouTube is like YouTube is, is kind of easy and quick to an extent, especially when you blow up to a certain level. So it's like, they want everything to come easy and keep coming easy. It's like, it's weird. It's, it's a weird mindset and perspective. You don't have to work hard for anything. Really work hard. 
Like it's, it's weird. Quick aside, if you're wondering or skeptical of the fact that influencer tweets can have any kind of effect on a token price or volume, I whipped up a chart for you showing volume of XCAD during the days when KSI tweeted. You can see that trading volume spiked millions of dollars on those days, which in part were some of his followers putting money in as he sold. Today, the price of XCAD has plummeted from $3 to about $1. Now, as always, with such large allegations, I wanted to be sure to reach out to KSI to give him a chance to explain these large accusations. After all, I didn't find this, Zach did. So I reached out to KSI over Twitter and he gave me the following statement. Hey bro, I mean, I'm still a HODL gang, LMAO. Sold some profit as well as my own money to put into Luna thinking I would profit more to buy back more XCAD and took a major L. Still fully believe in XCAD, the ability to earn from watching content. Honestly, you should talk to Redacted. He's very excited about this project. I never left crypto. I've just been watching it from the shadows. It's kind of hard to leave when you've invested so many years into it. So that's his statement. He then shared a personal account screenshot showing that he does have some XCAD still held. But while that's an interesting fact and an interesting explanation, it doesn't really change the core accusation of whether he pumped and dumped his fans. And I I mean, you still pumped and dumped. It may have been for the for a good reason in your eyes, but if you were just going to sell to go into Luna, you should have just sold quietly without pumping it, then getting more money out so that way you could put the money elsewhere. You still pump and dumped your fans. Like it don't matter how how good of a reason that sounds when you say it like that. I thought it was interesting KSI didn't deny the crypto wallet was his or that he made that amount of money. He's just telling us, well, I'm still hodling some of it. Just 800,000 of it I sold. <laughs> now, to be honest, I don't buy this explanation for a second, but I kind of was feeling like I had to leave the story there. It felt like a one-off scam that I talk about on my new side channel, Coffeezilla Extras, but the story would die there. But then I got another message, which changed everything from Zach. He said, I have one more KSI example with a different coin. Turns out on March 20th, 2021, KSI tweeted this. Two NFT coins I'm very bullish on, Super and Earn. Any other NFTs I should look at? Now, normally when you're bullish on a coin, you buy that coin. But that's not what KSI did. See, right after he tweeted that, six hours later, he sold $174,000 worth of EARN token. And then four hours later, sells another $174,000. Now, if that isn't a textbook pump and dump, I don't know what is. He tweeted, that's the pump. Within 24 hours, he sells $348,000. That's the dump. It couldn't be more clear. Or so I thought, because I asked KSI about this, and that's where things got a bit muddy. He says, I don't really remember the details of every transaction I made. These were coins I put my own money in, thinking they would do well. I would listen to what people said on Twitter and just follow stuff. I invested in Doge, etc. I didn't have malicious intent in trying to scam. I was new to crypto, so I was excited, putting money in random things and trying to chase the pumps, and ultimately lost heavily. I hope people didn't take advice or tweets as gold because looking back at my track record, I was effing dog shit. I wish I was an evil genius that would pump and dump at the right time because then at least people would say that I had some wit about me. Reality is I was just shit at crypto. And Yet all his pumps and dumps made him insane amounts of money. How, how, how does this make sense? I am lost. I am lost. Like he's, it just sounds like he's media trained. Like he made all this money and he's somehow saying he's bad. Just because you made all this money and you still lost money doesn't mean that you, you weren't pumping and dumping. You weren't even really losing your own money realistically. You were losing money you were pumping and dumping from your audience. Like did you even go into your own money when it comes down to crypto? You may have invested a very small amount then pumped and the rest of the money just came from fans is what it looks like. And that's basically KSI's defense. He was dumb, he was bad at crypto, but is that true? Well, he says he put in $2 million of his own money and lost it all in the end. He says, quote, I made zero profit on crypto. In the end, I lost it all on Luna. Look, I haven't seen his accounts. Maybe that's true. Either way, even if he is bad or dumb with crypto, I, I just, it doesn't explain the pump and dumps. Like telling people you're bullish and then selling is not explained by, I was new, I was dumb. And I said as much. I said, I'm just trying to understand why you traded the opposite way that you were saying on Twitter. 
and KSI replied this, because I thought I was getting trolled. Honestly, every time I tweeted something, the opposite would happen on the market. So I decided to tweet the opposite of what I was actually doing and still took an L. So just to be clear, KSI's story that he's going with is that he thought the market was against him. So he publicly said one thing while privately, secretly doing the opposite, which is kind of the definition of a pump and dump when you promote that to a big audience. You say you're going to buy to your followers while secretly selling. Whether or not it's a successful pump and dump, whatever pump and dump, that's what it is. Now, look, I understand that people are going to have conflicting ideas of whether this was malicious or not. And I think it's going to entirely depend on whether you think KSI's story makes sense. I'm just trying to provide full context while also giving you my opinion on that, which is that I don't really buy that he had no clue that tweeting one thing would positively affect the price in his favor. I definitely don't buy it, especially since his business partner is Logan Paul, and we know he knows what he's doing. And he's operating with Logan Paul. Usually you attract people that's similar to you. That's why him and Logan Paul has this respect and has this friendship and has this business together because they are similar types of people in ways. And I just think that this is one of those ways that they're similar. They would do this to their fans. They don't really care. And in the same way that Logan Paul years ago was recording and filming a, a, a dead guy, I don't think that KSI's integrity is beyond that. He was doing exploitative things to allegedly women and things like that, like like at events and stuff a while back, like earlier on in his career. Like these guys who get all this fame from YouTube tend to be a certain type of dickhead <laughs> and they don't really care about anyone but themselves and their people, really. But yeah, hey. I digress. Meanwhile, though, while I was confronting KSI, I heard a final response from Zach XBT, which I think moved the needle a bit. He said, I found another example. See, on May 11th, 2021, KSI Crypto tweeted, this is about to explode. Only moments later, though, he sold $25,000. Didn't buy it, which I get it. It's a relatively small amount, but it furthers that same pattern of behavior. It's just a matter of what you think that behavior was. If you ask me, I think KSI tried to use his influence to move the market for himself in crypto through a few pump and dumps. He may have lost all his money eventually in a Ponzi scheme, but that does not make what he did okay. In fact, I think it's fair to say that a lot of his followers, we saw that you know he influenced millions of dollars in trading volume, went into some coins that are now doing very poorly. But ultimately, I think the true piece of cosmic irony for KSI here, though, is that he would have gotten away with all of this. No one would have known about any of it if he just hadn't logged back into Twitter for one last spin at the slot machine. <laughs> yeah, that is insane. It looked like he was preparing to do it again. The bull run was coming back. He like, oh, it's time to heat it up. Time for me to start posting some tweets. Yeah, that's insane. He wanted to go back for another run at it. That 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 is that's crazy. But yeah, let me know what you all think in the comment section down below. I think that this is sad. It's sad that you can have all this money, all this success, and as opposed to working hard and continuing to work hard, you would rather just try to take the easy route to make a bunch of quick money. It's it's pathetic. But let me know what you all think. Be sure to drop that thumbs up, subscribe, and turn on notifications, and I will catch you all on the next one. Peace out, fam.